Do do do. When last we left off, I have no idea what happened. I was at the campfire, and that's what happens a lot in camping. Once you lay down by that fire, who knows what you'll remember. Let's tidy up the place a little bit, shall we? There is not a way to get up there, the traditional. We've unlocked this shortcut, as one says. There's now a ladder here. Ladder, 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 ladder. Hmm. I could go that way. There's a dragon. See? I'm not ready for that challenge yet. Alright, gaze upon my beauty. While I have a sip of the body flute of Christ. I have a fear of heights. Am I supposed to go? No. I have a fear of heights. See that tail over there? If you didn't know, you can shoot it with an arrow and you'll get a sword. Hey, maybe I'll try that. Buy some arrows. Where am I going? How many times have you lost a fight because you pressed the wrong button? Sometimes I'm perched very high, and the X button, I think, makes you. Oh, that's not it. All right, it's the circle button on Sony that makes you jump back. I've fallen to my death many times. You didn't die? Why did you not die? Stop it. I'm going shopping, so I don't really care about this combat stuff. Get out of my way. You can't stand between a woman and her shopping. Are you going to follow me? Battle axe. Ooh. Let's see what that does. I'm going to try to use weapons that I normally don't use. Alright, let's just say it's 113. Where's my short sword? Try it. I wonder if you can backstab with a battle axe. Well, we are in Poland, so. Let us buy arrows. Oh, still keeping it and go ahead. Never hurt. <laughs> More residence key. Hmm. The residence key allows me to free a sorcerer, but I don't know if I want sorcery. I do want arrows. Lots of arrows. I'll splurge. No? <laughs> yeah, I think I'll take these instead. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to test out this battle axe. Timing is everything.
I remember not liking battle axes because they don't have as much range, but I was just using the short sword. Oh wait, I wanted to buy a scimitar. Well, we'll find some sort of unusual weapon, I'm sure. Oh! See, I'm traditional. I like to use the stairs. I'm a lady. Not a construction worker. Again, this is a metaphor for achieving the erection. Oh, I'm impotent. Before I try to get the dragon sword, by the way, when I try to get the dragon sword, I will most likely speed that up for you. There's a person over here. Can I back that? Nope. I can deflect, though. I didn't feel accomplished. I didn't revel in that death. Where do I hit it? Oh, I didn't equip. You have to equip arrows. Because we're in Poland. Oh, what do I use with this bow? Oh, I know. An arrow. Oh no, it's not that easy. We have to do this 50 more times, which I will speed up. In this game, pretty much anything with a tail will give you a weapon. Let's get some tail. It didn't take me that long. Let us see the difference in damage. I don't know if I should actually use this. Where are you? Hmm. I need 16 strength to wield this. Still a lot of damage. But I was going to use the battle axe anyway. The guy over there. He's got his shield up. I was going to fire an arrow at you, sir. See what happens when you get arrogant. There are rats inside there that poison you. Sort of like the Komodo dragon. It doesn't actually have venom. It's got so much saliva. In it. Don't follow me. Woo! Oh, did you? Did you see that the rat had treasure? They drop humanity. Now I'm the Pollock. So you hang out with people and you become them. I'm not sure if I'm cool with Battle Axe. Two-handed. Yeah. Well, that was upsetting. I would have liked to have some humanity, because, as you know, when I become human, I become beautiful. Should be a ladder here somewhere. Ladder, 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 Hmm. Hello. 
Would you like to accept Jesus as your personal savior? How about now? There seems to be a mechanical rhinoceros or a triceratops. I don't want to see you yet. Oh, I forgot about the deflection thing. Oh! That didn't hurt. I'm angry now. Very angry. I feel like a beginner. I don't think I've ever used an axe other than to see what does this look like? And I also never make excuses for bad gameplay. It took three hits, but with the short sword, it seemed to have. Hmm. Maybe this weapon has a sort of sweet spot. Think about it, if I hit you with an axe and I hit you with a handle of it instead of the blade, it won't hurt you as much. Come over here. Over here. Now it is time to take revenge on the rats. Although they look more like giant mice. I'm not going to call you a rat, I'm going to call you a mouse. You ever hear, are you a man or a mouse? I want to dispel that myth because mice are brave. That purple bar means poison. The purple in this game also means chaos. Maybe these are chaotic mice. I could have had a humanity from one of you. I forgot what I was going to do. I'm going to tempt fate. Right now I'm going up here as I'm about to sneeze, and I don't think it's a sneeze tease. You never want to sneeze during combat, especially with a foe like this. This is another Black Knight. Maybe I'll try that again later. Oh, and I forgot to get my souls. It's okay, I like to go through things over and over again. How about you? Yes, I do go up here. I'm not happy with that rhino or that black knight. We must do the dance again. No, I won't do it with a sword. Though I think if I have more strength to wield that sword, I'll have a better chance with that knight. I almost feel like I'm in a Walking Dead episode. The undead and the Walking Dead were fearsome at first. Just like in this game. Then they became sort of like... Slapstick. Keystone cops. Stop that. Healing. Nothing more than 
healing. Timing is everything. The mouse. Ooh. This is what I could have had. Don't bite me. Fight me, but don't bite me. I want to go on Shark Tank and actually have shark muzzles. So if you're ever in an air sea disaster and the shark is in the water, you just place the muzzle over the shark's mouth and then you don't have to worry about it. Because what else can the shark do? Ow, the shark punched me. Ow. You should talk sharks. You know, without that mouth, you'd be nothing. I also want to take a f flight, speaking of air sea disaster, and bring a parachute as my carry-on. I think I get asked a lot of questions, but I look at that as opportunities for conversation. That's right, I'm so social that even being questioned by police is a social encounter for me. It's all a matter of perspective. It's so much happier. I didn't like that. Ooh, now there are two of these guys. Become like the Walking Dead undead. Be comical. Be easy to fight. Do the ooh. So that is the axe version of a backstab. I want to bring my strength up so I can wield that sword without penalty and fight the Black Knight. Open myself open for you. I open myself up to you, and what did you do? You just stood there and looked. I'm going to open myself up to you. What will you do? Stop shooting. Don't fire at me. You're not being very fair, you know that? Let me teach you some manners. <coughs> well, we'll meet again. And what do we have here? We have an alluring skull? <laughs> You'll say that about me all the time. So, in the interest of pretending that I'm giving you a tutorial. Those shards help upgrade weapons. But I haven't decided on a weapon yet. Dangerously close. I'm dying. Oh, you... Did you see that? He healed. Oh! You have a crossbow? I would have never thought. I can't remember if there's any treasure up here. I want to go fight that Black Knight. That might take half an hour until I figure out what to do. So in the meantime, I'm going to attempt to lure that mechanical beast. I don't know what I did. All right. Told you about pressing the wrong buttons, right? I only have one firebomb. That's not nice. I'll put those in there. I have to be honest with you. I don't think I've ever used a throwing knife in my life. Did I already put luring skulls? There you go. Can I auto? Yes. I'm not really showing you sportsmanship here, am I? 
even less sportsmanlike. Hey, go for that. Go burn yourself. Would you? And if you didn't like that, you might not like that either. I'll just... They're only $50 each. Why not? What am I going to get? Alright. I would say that's a fair trade. And that will never spawn again. In that area, at least. There's not even a body for me to dance around. Someone with that bonfire. When I heard of lighting a bonfire, that's what I imagined. That's a bonfire. Hello. Ooh! Got lured into a trap. Don't let me die this way. I actually used a throwing knife in a life saving move. And of course, the funny thing about all this is these are not hard opponents to fight. I never learn, do I? Oh, I've been stabbing people in the back in this game. I deserve to get stabbed in the back myself. Hello. I have no healing left. Makes me feel vulnerable. Mystery key. This axe is good for housekeeping. Renovation. Ladder, 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 ladder. Hello. I would like to ask you if you have ever accepted Jesus as your personal savior. Ooh. Shiny object. Just for me. I want to have it in my hands. What are you? Lure me to this beam. Ha. I believe that I shall soon be strong enough to wield the sword. Ladder, 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 ladder. Is telling me that I've missed a thing or two here. Look at that. I cannot destroy it by rolling into it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that before. You can roll yourself on top of a table. never have lunch in this place again. I don't know if that fog is really meant to load a new area or if it's just to freak you out. It's usually something very nasty is on the other side of a fog gate. Or fog wall. Or fog horn leg horn. supposed to go up. Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice that you are holding that spear in a very handsome way. Could I pillage your body, sir? Let us take a look upon the shield. Which shield is better? Ooh. 
I do believe that you had a shield superior to mine. I will now take your shield. What could be down here? Hello? Excuse me, will, will you be attacking me anytime soon? Because there's another opponent I'd like to meet. Oh no! Oh. You dastardly bastard. Three! Well, so much for increasing my strength. <clears throat> Let me do what the police do. Clear the area before searching. <laughs> It'll be a different episode on, on the Cops TV show. <laughs> People said, I have a warrant, and they searched, and then they got shot. <clears throat> my name... Well, I don't want to tell you my name. For all you know, I am Queen Booger. Whoa! Don't like that. Now watch. I was going to say that that rat will have a humanity. That will fall off the edge. Don't! Didn't I predict that? I predicted it. Except I came in here. Wait. Be there, be there, be there, be there, be there. Oh, yes. No! Oh. I'm going to drink my sorrows away. Where's this? I'm not falling for that trap again. I know you're here, and I know you are here. And I didn't know that you'd be following me here. It was not skill, it was just completely random that I turned around to face him. Be wary of attacking. If I were to take that literally... Actually, that makes sense. Be wary of attacking the guy running away. I thought it was a bad translation, but it's actually true. Where are... Never take your eyes off the opponent. By the way, that has happened to me in real life. In a way, I'm sort of like an animal. Because you ever notice an animal that is in danger? I'll just think, hmm, let me smell what this creature is. Not knowing that <laughs> it's just seconds away from attack. I don't think I've smelled my opponents, though. That's not how I get information about them. Although smelling people is a good indication of their comfort with you. So, <laughs> if you ever want to kiss someone and wonder if you have a green light, just smell the person. You, sir, were you the one who attacked me before? Maybe you were attracted by the noise? He's guarding some sort of item that... You were attracted by the noise. Yeah. Let's come out here. I faced all this danger for nothing. And I keep forgetting that I have souls to claim. How are you, Shield? 
Oh, it's just better at attacking, but sucks at everything else. I will not attack anyone with a shield. I forgot about my trying to parry. Well, we did solve the mystery. <clears throat> it appears that foes are attracted to noise. Excuse me, do you like heavy metal? I didn't want those souls anyway. <clears throat> Bastard. Just for that, I'm going to try to get some humanity from the rats. And in order to do that, I'm going to kill those boogers. I'm Queen Booger. I can kill boogers because they are my subjects. Boogers are excellent subjects of conversation. I'm just going to run through everything if I can. Kicking doesn't really... I want to kick him off the edge. Let's see if I get my kick in. That's how you kick. And can I kick the dick? Don't you like watching people with mediocre skill? Oh! <clears throat> Keep trying to attempt this feat. Good. This isn't a fight in real life. You have too much of a plan. Oh! It can be bad. Instead, just react. Don't plant. And now I am poisoned. In a way, it doesn't matter. Do you know why? Look, 420 souls. How many did I have originally? And poison. And I'm going to bravely run away. Run away to the afterlife, that is. I really think that I'm going to cut everything out until I advance. I know that in the pop music, if you want to call it that, community, people who have no Education. I doubt that the artists who say this even graduated high school, but they say, Einstein's theory of insanity is repeating the same thing, expecting a different result. First of all, Einstein was not a psychologist. Second of all, insanity is a legal term, not a psychological term. But the scientific method demands that you repeat the same action, expecting different results. Because that's how you test if your hypothesis has any merit. If you get the same result, then you can 
form a theory. So, it was Einstein's definition of theory or scientific method, not of insanity. By the way, people think that he was religious because he said God does not roll dice, but he was speaking metaphorically. And I know that because I, I had a conversation with him when I channeled him as a medium. I was so interested in explaining Einstein to you <laughs> that I actually wasn't even thinking about the rats and I got my humanity. And I believe that humanity costs about a thousand dollars. Sometimes it takes one hit, sometimes it takes two, so I think there's a sweet spot for this weapon. But I can't even parallel park, because I'm not aware of the dimensions of my car. How am I supposed to... ...judge the distance with this axe? I think wherever I hit you is gonna be the sweet spot, okay? That's a missed opportunity. How many of those do you have in the game? I'd rather have one in a video game. Okay, let's talk about this. That's deflection. How come it plays a part in my fight with this guy, but later on in the game you'll see examples of people actually hitting me through walls? <clears throat> I think that we have all decided that this is the charm of the game. And it's just a rule that we have to live with. Guarding a shield as if it's a prize worthy of my attention. I was referring to the past. Excuse me, sir. Would you like to talk to me about this serious matter? It appears that you have not made a payment to avoid a nick on your credit report. Please press one now. No, 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 no! Don't you dare heal! Unless you're a dog. Heal! 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 Oh, he could have finished me. It's because I'm in a hurry, that's why. And stop blocking the road. Ooh, now we're getting somewhere. Let me get the other side of the <laughs> It's like a good. Hey, compañeros, arriba. Look at the rhythm. Raya's woman has rhythm. And he's like one of those guys at a bar. We're lured onto the dance floor, knowing that they can't dance, but they'll make the minimal movements possible to justify being on the dance floor. How do I know? I was not one of those guys. I actually thought I could dance. The truth is, I cannot. I have to go down here to unlock a shortcut. I want to lift that gate. Because you know and I know that I will probably die very soon. And instead of going through all of that, I can just go through here. Over 
Over here should be a halberd, and although I'd like to use it, I have used this weapon before. So it's not really a challenge for me. Am I kidding? Everything about this game is a challenge for me. But let's see the difference. And I still need strength. I will keep the halberd for later use. Because <clears throat> I'm not very good at player versus player. I knew you were going to see me. But when I used the halberd, I guess because I didn't know what I was doing, I threw off the timing and instincts of opponents, and I actually beat them. I really am tempting fate here. Excuse me? Would you like to accept Jesus as your personal savior? Ooh! That fancy footwork. I thought you were a better fighter than that. <laughs> Too soon. He's still alive. I really should do something about these souls. I want to increase my strength. Let's not tempt fate. There is a bonfire. Close. Will I get to it? I just can't make a mistake. Ooh. How do we get oh, don't do that. So that I will be strong. I will gain strength soon. Just have to go to a bonfire over here. There is a blacksmith named Andre, and I do have enough material for him to upgrade my weapon. But I haven't chosen which weapon will be mine. And in a way, it's cool for you to see me play with such a handicap. Not just my mental handicap. <laughs> I have a long way to go. Three more levels. I really should be increasing my health, my vitality. As you see, I get hit a lot. Well, excuse me. I'm Andre of a stole rod. If it requires smithing. As a matter of fact, I was just telling people here that I do need that. But let's see what kind of weapons you are selling. Stone sword, board sword, bastard sword, battle axe, war pit. Ray hundred souls. I've never used the war pick. I'll be seeing you then. Be careful out there. This is what you call a smart decision. You go to pop a soul in your ass. A suppository. Well, used to need now. <laughs> Let's buy a war pick. Oh, I can't I promise you that. To see you go hollow. I'm already hollow, can't you tell? Maybe the blacksmith has poor vision. Right, let's look at <laughs> Oh, that's terrible. We'll have to try it anyway. Give 
If you can't tell, I've played... I can't go there yet. I've played Dark Souls many, many times. I will go here, actually. No, I won't go there. And I've developed a preference <clears throat> for certain weapons. I just tried to play a sorcerer, and I still... I returned to my old ways with that character. I didn't fully trust sorcery, so... I was an idiot who knew a couple of spells. And I was very bad at their usage. But for this run, and any kind of run that I do as a streaming or an upload, I'm going to try to do things that are different. I can't tell. I'm doing things right. It is a cool weapon, though. Let's try to use a two-handed. What does this move set look like? That was a strong attack. Normal attack. It seems like it was meant to be a one-handed weapon. Health. I can. What's the word? I need a verb in there. Defecate. <clears throat> Ooh, you hit very hard, sir. I'm over here. Oops. That didn't hurt. Oh, he's got a one, two. I think that was a very strong attack. It doesn't seem to be much to him. Except when he hits me. I'm sorry. Maybe he identifies as a woman. Oh. Some more souls. And a titanic shard. And a firekeeper soul. And I can't recall if that's all I need for the next level. Level? Souls? Come on. No, what do I need? I have to fight the Black Knight. They're not letting me. I'll fight someone here. How's that? There's some... Ooh! There's a shortcut here. This is important for a couple of reasons. And I will not state them. If you need your hand held, how will you ever become a master? Actually, that might explain why I'm such a loser. No one held my hand. I needed someone to show me the way. There's some treasure here. What is in this box? A homeward boner. And would you like to keep that or would you like to go for what's in this box? How about I keep that and go for what's in this box? A morning star. <laughs> I don't think I've used that in combat. Maybe that'll be the next weapon. Cracked eye orb. Again, two prizes. I care nothing for. Maybe this will make things worthwhile for me. What is talisman? Huh. See that shield over there on the ground? 
That's supposed to be a skeleton who animates. And there will be some skeletons who animate here. But I want to know what that is. Whoa! Get away, get away, get away, go away. Go away. Sometimes it's worth... Ooh, there's stuff up here. Sometimes it's... <laughs> Sometimes it's worth dying. Just for that one thing. No! Get away. Terrible thing about these skeletons. Oh! No, 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 no. <laughs> Until I kill their master, they reanimate. And we're back. I was killed by the skeletons, as you might have imagined. And if you just tuned in, I don't know why you're tuning in for part three or is this part four. You might want to see things out of sequence. Anyway, I did the equivalent of throwing sand at a beehive, and I awake. Ooh! I awakened a lot of skeletons. And if you didn't know about skeletons, if you do not kill the necromancer who raised them, they will come back to life, or come back to death, or animate. And this guy had killed me before, that's why you see the, <laughs> the stains. It's a good thing that he killed me because I didn't realize I wasn't recording. And when he's in that stance, that means if you attack him, he will parry you. And do to me what he did before. Oh! See? He parries. He drinks Perrier. Look at that little parry stance. Look how cute you are when you're parrying. Ooh. I did perform a backstab with this pickaxe. I don't know if it was recorded, but it seems to have the same sort of look as a uh, battle axe backstab. I don't mean to be tedious with my weapon choice, it's just that I really don't know what I want to upgrade. And, I must confess to you, I came very close to trying to find a scimitar by those skeletons. <laughs> oh no no, get away from me, kitty cat. Get away, get away! No no no, go! You have to go, you have to leave! I'm allergic to cats, by the way. So there's an asshole sorcerer over there. Before I get to him, I have to get to these people. You know how annoying they are. Ooh, so a one-handed strong attack is enough to kill them. Three in one shot. Again, that was a one-handed strong attack. And yes, I'm silly for using this weapon. And I didn't realize <laughs> that just because I'm behind someone doesn't mean that I can... Oh. It's likely that I'm just going to cut the next part out until you see my triumphant victory. Although isn't every victory triumphant? I have to clean up the way I speak. But honestly, if I extend our time together in conversation because I add words that don't need to be there, is that really time wasted? What if my voice is like a musical instrument to you? I could be telling you bad things and you'd still love what I say. Because it is like crooning to you. If 
For some reason, I thought of <clears throat> one flew over the cuckoo's nest. I was wondering why that is a title. Why would I use the flying over a cuckoo's nest as the title of a book, which later became a movie? If I were in an aircraft, surely I would have passed over a cuckoo's nest. But I've also been told that a cuckoo does not lay eggs in a cuckoo's nest. A cuckoo lays eggs in the nest of another bird, and when that baby cuckoo, I don't know the name for a immature cuckoo, emits a cuckoo, it's sort of like a, a magical sound, like the Pied Piper of Hamlin. It makes the birds of a different species feed the bird, the cuckoo bird, as if it's a child of the non-cuckoo family. I can make a welfare joke, but I'm not, because I've done that in a movie. But when I learned that, I was too lazy to discover if a cuckoo actually has a nest. You know, <laughs> for some reason, it doesn't have children in the nest. So what is the significance of a cuckoo nest? Again, I'm not interested enough to actually find out. But if a cuckoo does not have a nest, one flying over a cuckoo's nest has different implications, doesn't it? One has flown over something that does not exist. Could that be the deeper meaning of the title? And of course, he's within line of sight, which makes my life terrible. He followed me in here. Don't follow me in here. And again, I've discovered that a one-handed strong attack will kill these people. Oh, you're showing your back to me? Ooh. That was a tease, wasn't it? Ask not for whom the bell tolls. It seems by coincidence that the bell tolled for me. If I had been concentrating more on what I was doing, I would not be in this situation. Maybe I should concentrate more my skillful game playing than on my skillful retort. I've noticed that people insult improvisation. And oftentimes when they say, oh, that was improvised, it was not improvised. But even if a segment in the movie were improvised, why would you know, oh, that was improvised? As if that's an insult. Improvisation is a skill. So anyone who says that should be told, improvise a scene in which you are a douchebag. Oh, I'm sorry, that's too close to home. Trust me. Even people who conduct interviews, let's say in bands or whatever, they're terrible at improvising. I remember after I got to know Peter Steele from Tempo Negative a little bit, <clears throat> the things that he said that seemed to be very clever, and he did say many things that were clever and created on the spot. Some of his answers, I wouldn't say were rehearsed, but from him being asked the same fucking question by unimaginative journalists over and over again, came up with some cool answers for them.
Unfortunately, I have not been interviewed enough for me to have these ready-made answers. But even if I were interviewed every day, I'd give journalists completely different answers for the question like, Oh, how did you start making movies? Well, I was originally sold as a sex slave. And then I noticed that as I was servicing my masters, I came up with things to say. They were for myself, so I could think of a happy place. While I was putting my face in someone's happy place. And it was discovered that my timing while orally pleasuring someone was so bad that the people who paid a lot for me as a slave tried to find an alternate work task for me. And so they said, hmm. Maybe we should make him a filmmaker. Yes. And as it turned out, I was sold as a slave again. But I took a lesson. You just stay down there. I don't know what the hell he did. But might as well take care of some business while we're here. But yes, if you're ever a sex slave, be as bad as you can at servicing your master and maybe there'll be a different thing for you to do. Uh, don't pluck out your eyes to make yourself ugly because that's really not what you're there to do. Yeah, maybe it's nice to look at you. But you're there for other reasons. I'm going to try not to talk during this serious business here. Please heal. You want to heal, don't you? You want to take a sip of that potion. That wasn't enough? Ooh! Balder armor. My armor has no hair, but perhaps this armor is more bald. Yes, it is. That is what is called a fat roll. Which is rather funny because I'm not fat. And here we go. This explains why I wreck things. Inside that barrel was a humanity. I haven't used it yet because I'm dying a lot. And look at the souls that I have, 1500. I think I need close to 2000. Oh, that's another thing I did. I increased my strength a wee bit. Oh, still you? Then I am in luck. Could you help me? Yes. Thank you. I, I don't know if I should really say spoiler alert. Yes, very sorry. I've, okay. I've technically freed him. And for some reason, he didn't have a key in his cell like I did when I started the game. But I said spoiler alert, and I don't know why, because I can't imagine that you're watching this having never played the game before. And whenever I perform a tutorial sort of speech, it's as a joke. But that guy is going to kill someone very special to me. Ooh! I thought you were a corpse. And you're going to make me into a corpse. After all this work, I don't want to die. Anyway, that guy is going to appear at Firelink Shrine. And I'm going to kill him because... He's... He's going to end up being an asshole. And by killing him... I get at least one good item out of it. I told myself I was going to kill that black knight. I think I have enough souls. Get out of here, kitty cat. You have to go out. 
now I've got cat hair on one of my hands. And I know I'm going to touch my face because <laughs> who would? <clears throat> and then I'll be a different person. All right, I have to go down. Not as a sex slave. I have to go down to Firelink Shrine to increase my strength and my bust. Might as well kill that guy we just met too. Because I think with that ring, I get the benefit of increase my endurance. No, not endurance. What the hell is that? Yeah, endure. Nope. It's not vitality, strength. Next. I forgot what increases the amount of equipment I can carry. I guess I'm confusing it with another Dark Souls game. Oh yes, another Dark Souls game. Your equipment load is a separate trait. So let's get stronger. Alright, Vitality is hit points. Your Dungeons and Dragons. Attunement. Spells. Endurance. That allows me to swing more times before I get tuckered. Alright, so I'm going with strength. So I just need one more time. No, don't leave! I need 2,300 souls. Let's say 2,000 souls. And I'm going to attempt to kill him. Well, what have we here? <laughs> Are you sure about this? I really wanted to kick him off there because I've seen that in other tutorials. This is our fate. So be it. Ooh, look at that cool weapon he's got. Oh, I know what that weapon does. It ignores shields. I want his ring now. Honestly, whenever I've done this to him, I won. Oh, and he's angry. So again, it's pointless to have a shield. I'm such a bad boy. Girl. Girl. Such a bad girl. Let me try that again. I'm going to cheat. I'm sorry. I don't have... I'm going to use you two-handed, baby. Wait, how much strength do I need to use this anyway? 16. One strength off. Look at my fat roll. Surely there must be a way that he's not used to close. He doesn't like the halberd, does he?
I don't like the halberd, do I? This is another thing. Even though I'm using the halberd and I've used it in previous games, I've never used it two-handed. So he can't get staggered. Ooh. I've got lots of healing. I can outlast you. <laughs> I know I'm going to die. Yes, yes, yes. Call me names, but you're dead, and I am alive. Ring of favor and protection, that's what I wanted. Boosts HP, stamina, load, breaks when removed. Do not remove this. So that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. And if I can get a thousand souls... can level up. Maybe not, but I do have one more soul packet. Okay, first things first. Strength. And here I will. What will I do? I'm going to change weapons. Not short bow, although that would be funny. Short sword, short sword. Drake sword. Drake sword gives me no benefit from stats. That is, so I can be as strong or dexterous as I want. And there's no good. She not speak. I don't need her to speak. The guy I killed, if I did not kill him, he would at one point kill her. And then I'd have to avenge her. But he'd have two cronies by him. Crony baloney. Well collected bit by bit. And the quick cover team. No nonsense now. We're going to kill the Black Knight. We've been sworn to kill all Black Knights. Although imagine if there were a culture where black actually meant holy or nice. Why does black always have to be evil? I don't even know the lore of this game. I, d I don't know if the Black Knights actually are in some sort of service to a benevolent creature. But anything that attacks me must be attacked back. I just remember where the Black Knight is. I have to go through the gauntlet first. Hello. I don't know if you hear me sneaking up on you. This is not a very big sword. Oh. Is that a titanic shark? Yes, it is. Again, I can upgrade my weapon, but I don't know which weapon to upgrade. I can't really do the halberd. The halberd is known to me. And I should fight this Black Knight with a pickaxe. Because I've never used a weapon before. But I want to just get rid of this guy. Ooh. Now that was a Polish moment. <laughs> the shield is behind me, yet somehow I blocked the arrow behind me.
Is this a Titanic shark? No. You hear that dragon in the distance? Sorry, I have a Black Knight to kill. You know, I should really take care of these archers because they're going to bother me. Fight between the Black Knight and me. Can't have the peppering of arrows as part of it. Alright. I'm going to kill you. You. Or the other way around. Black Knight time. I had 10 flasks because at Firelink Shrine, you get 10. At any of the bonfire, you get 5 unless you do what's called kindling. I can raise that gate too, but I have to face the dragon. And at this time, I do believe that the dragon will fry me. I do like the amount of damage. Down here and heal. Are you going to follow me? Well, you are going to follow me. What did I get? It's not a lot. Hmm. Anything up here? Well, there you have it. I beat the Red Knight. No, the Black Knight. Whatever shall I do now? I think I should switch to my pickaxe. <laughs> Out of pure stupidity. Or was there another weapon that I was considering? You know, I have not used the mace either. 